Hello everyone from the Anka YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to introduce to you the multi-purpose amphibious assault ship, which is considered as an aircraft carrier by many people. It was decided to produce one LHD after a project was started to increase the operational capability of the Turkish naval forces. And, in order to be able to transport at least one battalion-sized force to a crisis area with their own logistical support and without the need to use a base. Sedef Shipyard submitted a bid with the Spanish Juan Carlos class helicopter carrier in a tender for a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship which will be built and delivered to the Turkish naval forces. TJG Anadolu will be the name of a ship and it's going to be the biggest ship of the Turkish naval forces. TJG Anadolu's specifications are as follows. The Turkish version of the LHD will be capable of operating 10 to 12 F-35Bs and 12 helicopters. The dimensions of the final design are 231 meters in length, a 32 meter beam, a 6.8 meter draft and a height of 58 meters. Its displacement will be 24,660 tonnes in the light aircraft carrier mission configuration or 27,079 tonnes in the LPD slash LHD mission configuration. Its maximum speed will be 21.5 knots in the light aircraft carrier configuration or 29 knots in the LPD slash LHD configuration while its maximum range will be 9,000 miles at economical speed. It will have a 5,440 meter squared flight deck and a 990 meter squared aviation hangar which can accommodate either 12 medium sized helicopters or 8 CH-47F Chinook heavy lift helicopters. It should also be noted that when the aviation hangar and the light cargo garage are unified, the ship can carry up to 25 medium sized helicopters. Alternatively, the ship can carry 10 to 12 F-35B and 12 helicopters as well as six more helicopters which can be hosted on the flight deck of the ship. Additionally, the ship will have a 1,880 meter squared light cargo garage. This is for TEU containers and 27 amphibious armed vehicles. Also, a 1,165 meter squared dock which can host four landing craft mechanics, two landing craft personnel vehicles and one rib boat not to mention a 1,410 meter squared garage for heavy loads which can host 29 main battle tanks, amphibious armed vehicles and TEU containers. The ship's crew will consist of 1,400 people with an amphibious force of 700 soldiers. In Tejege Anadolu there will also be a military hospital of 30 bed which will have an operating room, dental treatment unit and intensive care with infection rooms. The project is expected to be completed in 2021 with a total cost of 1.7 billion US dollars. This also includes military vehicles that will be placed into and on the ship. We have come to the end of our video which aimed to introduce you to the multi-purpose amphibious assault ship. To watch our other videos, you can click on the links and subscribe to our channel to be informed about our new videos. See you in the next video. Goodbye.